Bahia, in the northeast region of Brazil, is the country's most culturally rich state, scattered with lush natural rainforests, miles of tropical beaches, and mesmerizing waterfalls, making Bahia a Brazilian tourist mecca, where the Afro-Brazilian religion of Candomblé and the rhythms and movements of Capoeira flourish. <laughs> But there is more to Bahia than sun, sand, dance, and mesmerizing waterfalls. In Bahia, abortion is the leading cause of maternal death. An illegal abortion takes place every three hours, and the penalty for illegal abortion is three years imprisonment. Earlier this year in Bahia, a nine-year-old girl was found pregnant with twins after being admitted to a hospital with stomach pains. At just 79 pounds, her uterus too small to carry in birth two babies, doctors performed an abortion that saved her life. But in Bahia, Catholicism reigned supreme, and the girl, her mother, and the doctors that rescued her were excommunicated from the church. The man, the girl's stepfather, who impregnated her after raping her from the age of six, was saved excommunication. The church asserts that while rape is bad, abortion is inconceivable. This child is not alone. Of the victims of sexual abuse treated at women's clinics daily, it is reported that nearly half are under 12 years old. A third of abortions are performed on girls under 14 years. Nearly all of them impregnated by incest and rape. Brazil's abortion laws remain amongst the strictest in the world. Yet still, it is estimated that nearly 40% of Brazilian pregnancies are terminated in abortion every year. 500,000 women die, another 800,000 hospitalized after undergoing illegal abortions. While abortion remains illegal throughout the country, access to doctors qualified to perform the procedure is available in the richest parts of the country and with a fee of upwards of $600. Bahia, one of the most beautiful tropical destinations in the world, where women and girls are dying at the hands of their own fathers, and the church and government turn their eyes to the flood of tourists, mesmerized by the waters. <laughs>